We will cover today Garuda i3 WM. And of course, since this week we talk, we said we will talk about Mate, so Mate will have a very significant part of this i3 WM. And you will see it when we finish this video. So here I installed Garuda i3 WM through the Calamaris installer and I'm now logging in. So let us log in, okay, to i3 WM. And if you notice, we have two conkeys. We have the i3 bar and we have also the Garuda Linux Talon. This is very important for the settings and it is available in almost all of the distributions from Garuda. The Garuda Assistant, the Gamer, the Garuda Settings Manager, the Garuda Network Assistant, and the Boot Options, and many other things that you will need. In almost all distributions, you will have these. So we will cover them just very fast later on in this video. So let me close it. If we notice here, Garuda Linux 6.06, .06, the kernel, that is a Zen kernel. I don't know about the Zen kernel, if it is beneficial or not. CPU usage is 20%. It's rather or it's going 10 12%, sometimes 9%, which is also a little bit high for i3. The RAM usage is around 866 megabyte. I put around 3 gigabyte for the virtual machine. And the swap, it is using a little bit of swap. For the storage, I put 32 gigabyte. It is using 8.25 gigabyte only for this i3. 8.25 gigabyte for the i3. Looking here, we have the shortcuts. And down here, we have the i3 bar. If you notice the i3 bar, this is a, a have some information concerning the storage concerning the speed of download the temperature cannot read temperature cannot read temperature I think there's some problem with the i3 bar configuration and there's the volume there's the time the date we have here copy queue the clipboard manager the famous clipboard manager but it is a little bit heavy so that's also uh, gives a reason why it is available. Uh, it is it is big copy queue. Also flame shot flame shot also is big also. There's one for the if you want to update the keyring if you have problems mainly in Arch, you always have problems with the keyring. So it's good that they gave it so that you don't have any any problems. This is the network. And here, this is the PAMAC availability. It's selling six available updates, although I updated it a couple of hours ago. And here it is the volume. And I think this one is Redshift. So if I want to toggle or to work here, I did have this menu, which is the Talon, Garuda Talon, which, uh, which we can use. But for the other applications, we don't have anything. Luckily, they give us some things here. Open terminal is super enter. I tried super enter, it did not work. So I think also they had some problem with the config file. Open browser works. There is also the mail. The file manager also works. Super F3. So let us open it. Super F3. And this is Thunar. And here in the config, we go config i3 to just to check what's the problem that we faced. Let me get out of this one so that we will have a full screen. So this is the config file, a very simple config file. So here we have the preferred terminal emulator is Alacrity. So that's why the super enter did not work because I think Alacrity is not installed. The browser is Fire Dragon. It is Firefox, but they called it Fire Dragon. The file manager is Tunar that we already were using. There is the mail client Giri. Text editor is Genie. And of course, the screen capture is Flameshot GUI. If you notice down here, the bind sim of super return, it is for the preferred terminal, which is Alacrity. Or there is another one, which is Super T, which is XFCE4 terminal. So if I if I press Super T, it will open the terminal. Super T, it will open the terminal. Super Q, it will close. And look at the auto start. There's a lot of things happening for the auto start. 
let us remove some things from here let's say uh, exec dash no startup conkey no problem with the conkey let us remove the copy k copy q dance no problem let us keep it redshift i don't like redshift let me remove it and i'm applet no problem pamac also i use the terminal i don't need it what else we can remove blue blueberry tray also we don't need it for the bluetooth and if you notice super d it goes for rofi it is not the menu it is a rofi menu which is nice to have so what i will do is i want to remove the bar and put another one that's my first aim to do so first let me remove the bar because i don't like the bar and we could not do anything inside here and do we did not know what are the applications that are available so i removed the bar here because it is i3 they put all of them that are considered to be floating so you don't have any problem when you open them it's a good thing you will not see it in most uh, distribution these floating they will just give you one or two but they put some effort to put it and also here you have the the gaps and that's it so that's it so what we need we need a panel to replace this one and what panel would we use of course we will use the mate panel okay so let me save before we go out let us add the mate panel so let me take uh, let's say this one copy and paste it and we'll have here mate dash panel so we remove the i3 bar and we replace it by the mate panel so that's how we will do it so file save and i need to quit so all we need to do is super t and we install the panel sudo pacman minus s dash panel and if you notice we have the dependencies we have the mate desktop mate menu and mate panel this is the minimal desktop that you can install the mate desk all we need also is the session so let me also add the session so we can also use the mate desktop so i'll put here mate dash sessions dash manager and that's it dash manager okay so and yes okay so we just installed a minimal mate desktop a minimal mate desktop but what we'll need now is the mate panel and we put in the config to open the mate panel so what we will have is let us go out of i3 super zero exit okay and we put the password and if you notice the i3 bar is removed we just only have these panels unfortunately these panels they don't follow the theming of the i3 so if you want you can change them from here properties you put the background let's say a solid color put it black if you want so we'll have like this one and also this one also you go to properties background you choose a black background or you can also use a background image if you want so we got this one for the theming we will talk about it in another video but for now look what happened now well, now we have a menu and of course it is i3 so if i press super t super t super t it will be like this and super v super t it will go like this and super r and you go with the left arrow and right arrow it will be like this and also the same thing here so we're still in i3 but we have a panel which is the mate panel how cool is that okay let us close this one we can close it also here you can use the mouse now so and not only you can use the mouse you can also check all the applications that are installed so for example for the accessories there is the azote for the uh, desktop there is copy q gestures mouse pad redshift and for the graphics you have left shot they have peak i could have not guessed that they have peak peak is very good for going into for recording a small gifs if you want to have some some gifs to record of course there is fire dragon let me open the fire dragon 
I just wanted to open it just to give you a glimpse of the theming. It's a nice theming. It's a nice theming, eye candy theming, just for the fun of it. And for the office, there is only for the PDF and nothing much. But if you notice here in the system tools, you have, you can access all the things that we were talking about. There is the Garuda Assistant, the boot option, the gamer, edge top. There's also GJ menu. I don't know why they put it also here. Tunar file manager. All of them, they are included in the applications. We go to the places. And if you notice here, let us go to the preferences. Customize look and feel. This is only for the GTK theming, not for the panel here. I think it's only for GTK too. So here you go, Kojir Manjaro Dark. Okay, I got it. This is the font. And the icon theme also, Kojir Manjaro Dark, if you want. Also the same with the mouse font and I press apply. Let us add also some toolbars here. Let us add some toolbars. So right click here, add to panel, custom application launcher. I'll put add the name, let's say, let's start with Thunar. Okay, and the command is Thunar. And if you notice the icon, it is available now. So we got it. Add, we add another one. Let us add for the terminal, XFCE4 terminal. And here the command XFCE4 dash terminal. Press okay. And also for the Firefox, let us add the Fire Dragon. Okay. So we got, so if you notice now, they are very close to each other. Let us move, move it a little bit so that if you can, you can, you can click it better. Okay. That's it. Another thing, because it is I3, we need to have some workspaces. So if I right click and add to panel, we go down to workspace switcher. I'll add. So it is available here. This is the uh, switcher. Okay. So now. We have the panel, we have the shortcuts here, so and we can utilize the same thing, we can utilize i3 and also we can use the shortcuts that are available with i3, let's say for, for going left, right and changing whatever we like. Let us do another thing, let us log into the Mate desktop and put i3 inside. So super. So we go out and we pick here the Mate desktop. I'll put the password. So what we have now, we have the minimal Mate desktop, minimal Mate desktop, which means without any window manager because we did not install Marco. We just have a minimal one. So what we'll have to do first is we go to the system, preferences, go to personal startup applications and inside here we need to add name i3 and command i3 let us add it and i will close if you want you can remove let's say the flame shot if you don't need it and all the other things because it is available here okay so log out and we log in again okay if you notice just the theming that we talked about in i3 now the theming is applied for the panel because now we are in the mate desktop and also i3 is available i press two three times you can super r shift left shift right it is available so that's a new idea in order to build mate desktop a minimal mate desktop and put inside it i3 or any other window manager and benefit from all the features that are given with Garuda, the settings, the gamer edition, all the settings that are available with Garuda with a minimal uh, system. So that's it for now. And we will be back with another video.